Skill Jermaine Taylor here. Like I said, and I'm here with my friend uh, Carl David, Mr. Elevated Minds himself. And uh, what we wanted to do on this particular hangout is just take it from a different angle. You know, so you're going to have two different people, uh, a few different approaches, and we're just going to share. We're going to share our screens. We're going to share a little bit about the way that we think and uh, how we've been getting the results that we've been getting. And uh, Carl, do you have anything else to say on that? Well, I'm just trying to um, check out to see that we're actually live right now. But um, how's it going, guys? My name is Carl Dave. For, for those of you who don't know me, um, I appreciate everybody who's out here right now. And basically, what we're going to do is focus on, you know, giving some value out here because, you know, it's time. It's time that leaders come out, join this movement, and work with us. And if you know, if you're watching right now, you're probably somebody who's interested in what we're doing or you're already in and you want to propel your business, listen to, you know, I have my notepad out tonight. Oh, well, I'm just trying to um, check out to see that we're actually live right now, but, so we're live. <laughs> All right, I had to make sure it's live on the website, and um, if you're watching right now, you've got people, you know, who are supposed to be tuned in, get them to refresh the webpage and, you know, uh, plug into what we're going to talk about tonight. I'm going to go over some 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 business methods that I feel if you implement into your business will not only help you get more leads but actually hone down on structurizing your business because I'm big on numbers I like to like tweak things trying to track conversions who, you know out of this bunch who's taking it seriously stuff like that and um, you know I'll let Jermaine go ahead and pick up on on we're gonna give you some awesome stuff tonight so pay attention to this hangout um, I appreciate this young man here, and just, you know, let's take off from here, right? All right. Well, guys, I'm going to go to my Facebook page, and I'm going to talk about basically branding. Branding and psychology, because um, a lot of people don't realize how to get started, and I don't understand why. And the reason I say that is because Facebook has, like, over 990 million people, and so all you need to do is just talk to someone. So I'm going to show you uh, my mindset as I'm posting and, and what I'm doing, okay? Because if you can figure out why I do what I do, then you'll have what I have, right? So I'm taking it from the perspective of a beginner. Obviously, a beginner has no results. So what you're going to want to do is share the results of teammates, right? And uh, as you can see, here's me and Carl. What you want to do, guys, um, starting out, if you haven't already, I'm going to start um, a little basic and then it's going to get really, really advanced. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, get acquainted with people uh, who are either where you want to be or just well known. You, can, you don't have to have a lot of success in order to make money in Ingresso. You just need to ride the tide of um, the team. I'm, I, honestly, Alfredo's made it so easy for us, guys. Um, with the Team Easy Money thing. Everybody uh, wants to be a part of Team Easy Money, whether you realize it or not. So the moment you're on the team, you all you have to do is adopt the name. As soon as you adopt the name, it's like a jersey, man. You're with the cool kids. And so basically, my first advice would be get to know me, get to know Carl, get to know uh, Ron, get to know Alfredo, get to know all of the names that people are well acquainted with. Have conversations with them on your wall because that's social proof. Be a part of something that's bigger than yourself because if you try to jump in by yourself, you're not going to be able to do it, right? If you try to jump in and fly solo, it's just not going to work. So that's why my wall consists of a team right now, right? So I'm posting good morning posts and stuff like that. But then you can see when it comes in terms of my branding, I'm using the products, providing value. Look at this. I'm saying my mind is blown. This is day six of the 30-day blueprint, the difference between being a distributor and an entrepreneur, right? It has 15 likes, but look at the engagement. If you notice on my wall, I try to drag out as much posts as I can. You know, I know Alfredo does this too. And just the more the more interaction you have on your post, when people come on your wall, they just read everything. And what that does is it kind of establishes you as an authority figure. So on my slow days, guys, um, this is a concept. It's called Ninja Tactics and Psychology, right? This is a concept that I've learned, and it's called using your last result to get your next result, okay? So I'm going to show you. Uh, on days when I'm excited, right, I, I kind of line, 
a, a lot of times it'll seem like I'm just blowing up, like I'm just always moving, and it is, because I am. But more so, I like to plan the things that I'm going to do ahead of time. Why? Because when you can uh, just create a domino effect, people see it, and it lingers in the news feeds for like a day and a half, and that's all you need to get one or two signups, right? So I could have had, in fact, let me go into my Ingresso back office just to show you guys. I could have literally made 125 today, okay? And 125, is, it's not a big deal to me personally. Uh, it used to be about a month ago. So trust me, I'm not that far from you guys. But I want to show you guys this. Um, on my business center right here, you, you can see that I only have one spot left. But check this out. On this business center, you can't see there's a person here, there's a person here, there's a person here. So I'm about three people away from a $900 day, and I'm about one person away from 125 So tell me, what's cooler, a $125 day or a $1,025 day, right? So that's what I'm waiting for, and that's what I do. So someone upgraded, right? Someone became a, a business specialist, and then someone followed them. All I did is post them at different times, maybe an hour apart. This is just uh, digging into my mind, right? And then, boom, you know, I, I had the $300 day, um, $300. I made it like two hours before I posted it, too, truthfully. And what that did is, in the eyes of people who are seeing it, they're like, holy crap, this result, that result. So just because you get results, guys, doesn't mean you have to necessarily share them immediately. Alfredo told a story on his wall. He was telling stories of Vegas, of team, of car, of success, of tools. And then just recently, hey, guys, I just made 73K. It turned a lot of heads. What if he had just released it all at the same time? It would have been big, but it would have been big for one day, right? That's why even if you notice as you go down my wall, as we in terms of Vegas and stuff like that, I, I leaked that video very, very late. And, in fact, I have more coming. But why? It's because excitement is the fuel to your business, and you want to keep the fuel going. You want to keep the fire going, right? And so this is something, this is a little technique that I use. I don't even know really what to call it. But just doing things in a way that can let people uh, follow you. Give them a story to follow. So it's like, oh, man, yesterday, Jermaine, okay, he signed someone up. Okay, and someone else upgraded. And notice, guys. They're both at the business specialist, right here, right? Business specialist, business specialist. So in the eyes of other people, it's like, man, he's getting people to sign up for $100. In reality, there were two upgrades within the same hour, right? I just posted them, and it made it look, you know, real chronological. Oh, man, then he got a check, right? Oh, man, and then after that, he signed someone else up. This is all in the same hour, guys. So, um, and then I posted this, right? business specialist, you know, I move fast because you can't use the word spillover, but what it does, you know, is it helps me brand myself. It really does give me a leg up on the competition because even though all of this, it might seem like a lot, but it all happened in the same hour, right? In the minds of other people, it's like, man, he keeps moving, and the next thing you know, I'm randomly on a date, right? Because I'm showing some lifestyle, I'm, you know, I'm telling a story, and it got me 35 likes. Now here's how I use Facebook, guys. Um, prior to this, I haven't really used a list or a whatever. Facebook has been my best friend. So I'm going to show you how I use Facebook, all right? Everyone who likes this, believe it or not, okay, when people see this in the news feeds, I'll show you. This guy, Ryan Matthew, he's not on the team, okay? Um, a few people are on the team. Brittany, she's on the team. Jason. There's a few people who will like your status, like this guy, George Meyer. You know, he looks a little scary. He's not on the team, okay? Chasing Green, dude, that's Seymour Green's brother. He's, you know, his brother's uh, a global executive in another company. But look, he liked my, my picture. This is who I'm attracting because of the way that I brand myself specifically, right? And what happens is when they like your post, immediately, within the first two seconds, strike a conversation. It's impressive. It's fast. And I treat these pictures like real estate. This is my list. This is my list. So every piece of content, I will try to get the most likes and uh, the most likes and comments. And I will. a lot of you guys, you have a bad habit of, check this out. I'll show you exactly what I mean. You will leave people hanging. I never saw this, right? But 
You will just let someone comment and just not respond to it or you'll like it. Don't do that. Reply. Look, he said you're blessed. I'm going to say thanks, man. I truly appreciate it. That's all it takes, about a second and a half. Now this post will be resurrected and hanging around in the news feed. So what happens is um, how, how, how network marketing works is it works by exposure. If you don't talk to anyone about your business, no one's going to know. If you don't post on your wall and make a video or at least expose it to someone in some way, Craigslist, doesn't matter what you do, no one's going to know. So I use my posts, right? I structure them a certain way. They get a lot of likes and comments. And what that does is it's like real estate. And what that does for me is it builds a list. Look, you want to know where my list is? It's not on my Aweber. It's right here on my Facebook, right? And then I'll just strike a conversation. I'll say, oh, look, Tanisha Moore. She's not, she's not an ingresso, I don't think. You know, boom. And I'll, I'll strike up a conversation. I'll just scroll down just like this. And so if you guys want to get good at uh, marketing and recruiting, just learn the art of having decent Facebook content that people can enjoy as they scroll down your wall. It should be like a value fiesta. You know, they come down here and they're like, oh, man, he just made money and he's introducing people and when you do it like this people see that you're larger than yourself you're about more than just yourself mm -hmm. this is the only thing I posted today literally I mean I was tired I didn't feel like marketing and I could have made 125 I could have upgraded someone or brought someone in but I was just like nah look all you need to do guys is take it a step at a time go for an upgrade a day or sign up a day okay and if you have to post all that day as a filler leading up to that sign up and that sign up is the climax of your day that's okay. I do it like that sometimes too. But what what it'll show other people is that you're really consistent because they just scroll down your wall and it's just success, success. And another thing, you won't see anyone else on my wall. It's just not going to happen and it's not that I'm selfish, but I'm not branding anyone else but me. If it has nothing to do with me, why is it on my wall? Now, that doesn't mean you don't share people's results. You know, don't misunderstand me. What I'm saying, guys, is it's your wall. Okay. Uh, oh, man. I don't know if I should. Okay, I'm just going to tell you about an example. A lot of newbies have the tendency, because I know we tag a lot of our new people. They have the tendency to have 15 billion names on their wall. So it might be all people from the team, but it's not that it's not that they shared the result. It'll say my name, Alfredo's name. It'll say Carl's name. And then everyone is on their wall except them. They haven't posted anything, and all you see is other people, and that's unattractive in the eyes of others. So, um, yeah, that's that's uh, what I have to say about branding uh, on Facebook. Let me see if there's anything else that I do specifically. But this is the psychology of it all, guys. Look, I let Alfredo on my wall here. Why? Because it illustrates my point. Check this out. I think either before or after. Okay, it was before. Um. I posted the fact that I made 5K this month with Ingresso. And then, you know, Alfredo comes in with, boom, 73. So the reason this is on my wall is because it's the exact same kind of picture, right? It's congruent. You know, guys, you, you want your wall to look attractive. You don't want it to look messy. And here's another thing. When I introduce people, a lot of you guys do this too, which is good. When, uh, when you introduce people, do it with their best picture, Okay, let me show you what I mean. Like I introduced uh, this guy, Stein Campbell. I tried to find the most uh, appealing picture, right? So it just keeps the business professional, and it's who you will attract. When people scroll down your wall, literally everyone who adds me now is basically in suits and ties. It didn't used to be like that. And um, when I introduce someone, look, this person's in a suit and tie. You can see. Uh, This picture of uh, Miss Kanita, she looks, you know, really classy. <laughs> right here, you know, an army picture. You always want to make the people who join you look real credible, and it'll help them in their business, and it'll boost your credibility also because people see the kind of people that you're attracting, and they're attracted too. And I want to show you guys something too. Don't necessarily add everyone that uh, tries to add you. Okay, sometimes my best, my hottest prospects, right, will be the ones that I'll let sit for a day or two, 
and then just go crazy with success, especially when I know they're a big name or a decent name or a potential leader. Show people that you're busy. Show people that you're willing to not let them into your business, right? Some of you guys have been just begging for $50 signups, and I, I will promise you this. You will never see the $50 business center on my wall, ever. It will only be the 100 and above. Why? It makes a statement. It sets a culture and a tone for people to be like, okay, this person means business. If I do use the uh, $50 business center, I'll show you Jing real quick. I'll do it like this, right? I'll cut it so that you don't see $50 because I don't want $50 signups. I'll do it like this. And um, it's just the little things that count, guys. Just the little things that make a big difference. This is another ninja chat tactic that I, I use, and I'm going to show you someone who should be signing up with me in the next few. Um, I'll show you someone who's going to join me, okay? And I'll, I'll show you how powerful this technique is. Real talk. I'm looking specifically for a person. His name is... Uh, there it is. Dairy in there. All right. So I've been building a relationship with this guy for maybe a few days. Right. I'm going to show you parts of my actual conversation. And I'm going to show you when the quote unquote sale took place. Right. Um, and I'm going to show you just the relationship side of this. Okay. So if you can see my chat box, hey, can you guys see my screen? Is it too small? Mm, I can see it fine. If somebody has their. Uh the window at full screen, you should be able to see it fine. All right. Um, notice, all right, let me see. So notice he's saying that he plans to join us in a few days, but he asked me a specific question. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can get a better, better picture. Um, I asked him if he had any questions, okay? He said he planned on joining in the next few days, but even before that, he asked me a question. He said, so when I join, is there any kind of training? You know, he just general questions. I gave him a 44 second uh, message with my voice, and that I could tell that's what solidified him joining the team. Look, thanks, man. I look forward to joining the team. Boom, he said it, right? And he was already sold. And another thing that you guys don't know about me is I don't just I don't just prospect. I don't just talk to people and spam them. Look, I'm always talking with pictures, always talking with the, with pictures. That's definitely the kind of success I would like to have. If you know enough about the company, then I only have three words. Not a lot of words, guys. Join the team. Picture. That's it. What did he say? I plan on joining within the next few days. It doesn't have to, recruiting doesn't have to be hard. This is the whole conversation. Hey, Darian. Hey, man, I've been doing my research. Okay, he's been doing his research. I send him a check. I tell him to join the team. I show him the team he's joining. That's it. But I'm going to let you hear the message that I sent to him that made him say thanks. I look forward to joining the team. All right? When I see your um, question, bro, I had to answer with a voice message, bro. Support is all we do over here, man. Me personally, I have like five hours worth of training. I'm talking about webcam. I'm talking about screen shares. I'm talking about over the head looks and PowerPoint presentations. And then you have all of my sponsor stuff and then the myriad of groups that we have, man. Uh, both basic and elite groups, and then we have team chats that are running literally 24-7, bro. And then, of course, Dwayne has a 30-day blueprint in the back office of Ingresso. Man, there's, there's so much training that you're probably not going to get through it for, like, the rest of the year. I'm going to be honest with you. And then there's the fact that we're constantly adding to it daily. In fact, I'm working on the training right now. So, um, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Okay. That little thing gave him so much confidence that he wanted to join. Are you guys learning something? What about you, Carl? You there? I think your mic is muted, bro. Oops. Looks like Carl just dropped. He'll be back. But like I was saying, guys, um, and notice how I was telling him about all the training that I have. Another thing you guys need to do is be prepared because what if all the people magically start joining you, right? What if they start joining you? What are you going to do? Me? Just put them in a group? Guys, they joined you. <laughs> you there? You there, That was so weird. <laughs> Google just did something really weird, so I apologize for that. But I could hear you. I was clicking the unmute button. It was, you know, flickering on and off and stuff. 
But um, I wanted to piggyback on what you were saying because the psychology of it is sick. You know what I mean? What do you have to offer to the next person? It's like excellent customer service. We're in sales right now. We're marketers. So we're, we're getting sales to help our business grow. So when you're in sales, you have to think, you know, literally outside of the, the employee mindset and think like as a business person at this point. But what you want to focus on is how much can I serve that person who's interested in what I'm, you know, what I'm, what I have to offer. Because when I first started marketing, it was all about me, me, me. You know what I mean? And that's what everybody thinks it is. But you learn quickly. Your first month, it's not. Second month, you're like, oh. Third month, you're like, okay, I got it now. Now I'm finally listening to my mentors, and they're saying give value, build relationships with people, and then you're going to be getting sales left and right. And that's exactly what Jermaine just went over. Essentially, it's the same process. Doesn't doesn't matter if you're focused on email marketing, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube marketing. It all revolves around creating valuable content first, right? Being professional, all right? Generating enough traffic to a high a high converting offer. What we have here. <laughs> it's crazy. It's powerful. So it, it converts very high, and then you can, you know, generate a lead from that that process and be able to build a relationship with them and get them to, to turn into a sale. So if you focus on over delivering, all right, being that one person who decides to be okay, I'm gonna make my own group. I'm gonna get on my own conference calls with my little six teammates. Right? You have six teammates. That's your. That's your. Those are your soldiers. So train your soldiers to duplicate. Go out and, and do what you're doing and what other people who you look up to are doing. And that really, you know, it resonates with the whole movement because of how, you know, Ingresso is built. And I feel like we have all the tools. You just got to take them and apply them. And some of the secret ninja stuff like uh, Jermaine was talking about, the psychology behind it, if, you, if we focus on the little things, guys, and really the little things, most of the time, get the trick done. Most of the time, I'm nonchalant to my people. Like, oh, you're not ready to sign up? Because because why? Because you haven't decided that you're not broke enough yet? Because they always come back. If you, if you think about it, they always come back. If you, if you stay focused and you're on your grind and you're continuing to build and grow, the people who come to you the first week, right? And I'd like, I like to map stuff out. I, I'm visual, so I write stuff down sometimes. You know, three months later, Three months later, they're coming back. Why? Because they followed your consistency. They saw your success grow and theirs go down. I, I learned this from, I think, is Tony Robbins, is to, is to always be confident in the, it's a state of mind, guys. Getting success and getting leads and sales, it's a state of mind. You have to be like zen. If you notice, people who are getting great results, I'm not stressed. Why? Because I do personal development. Um, we read books. We listen and we, we're listening to stuff that's going to educate us and help us grow and be able to take that information and empower other people with it. So, you know, what we do is um, I learned from Tony Robbins. It was something along the lines of if you if you are confident, right? When you're confident, that's a state of mind. You're able to take more action on your business, in your life, take control of what means anything to you. And when you take action, what happens? You get better results. When you get better results, you, you get more confidence. And it's a cycle. Most people are living in a cycle of, I'm sad. I just went to work and I had this long day. Now I'm not going to take action on what I'm supposed to do. Forget the lawn. I'm not going to mow the lawn. Then you don't get any results and the neighbors are mad at you. So it's a revolving cycle. You just got to snap out of it get into a business frame of mind, get zen, and laser focus on things that are going to bring you leads and sales. Cut the noise out. This week, I started a workout regimen. I'm telling you, going to events does stuff to you, man. I felt it. I felt a shift. I, I, I go ham, but I'm about to go extra ham, and it's a shift. <laughs> it's a shift because now I feel like I've, I've gotten enough nuggets to take them down, and like I said, Organize everything, align everything, and take your business to the next level. No matter what you're in, if you're not a part of this group, you need to plug in and see what Nine to Five Rehab, Team Easy Money, Elevated Minds are doing. But if you are, guys, just it has to be a shift for you. Find your, find your, find your why, right? Find out why you really want to do this. 
create a game plan and organize it to the T how you're going to get this $10,000. Because I know me and Jermaine, we play chess. You see what I'm saying? Like, he takes his time, he positions, it's like, bam, I told you, and how did you know? Because you set it up. <laughs> this is fun. We're having fun. We're having fun helping people make money, and all you have to do is position yourself. So are you positioned? Are you taking action? Are you taking notes? Are you, you know, from learning from other people, and one trick that I learned from even Tara, my sponsor, and I try to, like, nitpick and learn from everybody. Opt in into as many email lists as you can. I make like a, a dummy email account. I have one. Opt in into their email list. See what they're saying to people. How are they pro? I learn so much because I'm able to sit down and absorb it. And if you should, you should take action on that stuff. Take it, absorb it, and regurgitate it. And that's how you build relationships with people. That's how you're going to get sales. Gaining as much knowledge as possible and sharing the wealth, guys. The more you give, the more you attract. The more you attract. Your income goes up. Your income goes up. <laughs> I wanted to touch on that. I wanted to do a screen share soon to uh, to show you guys a little bit about how to structure your email campaigns and stuff like that. But I'm gonna let you take off a little bit, Jermaine. I'm getting fired up. <laughs> you're getting fired up, bro. You're getting me fired up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but guys, oh, what he's saying is resonating with me so much. How do you know? Because we set it up. How perfect. Guys, I kid you not. I kid you not. Like Carl said, get into that that zone. Just look, get laser focused. There's no way you could not not succeed. I mean, ah, you know what I'm saying? You have to succeed is what I'm saying. Check this out. What, bust your butt. Who cares? Be silent the rest of the week. Post value, right? The moment that you know that you're one person away. <laughs> oh, I'm so guilty of this. You ready? Check this out. The moment you know you're one person away. Away from cycling, you post that. Put yourself. Listen, guys. There's nothing wrong with a little positive pressure. Put yourself on blast. You can say, you know what? I'm waking up this morning. I bet I'm gonna get a uh, $125 a day just because I feel like it. And you know what? Just the fact that you said it makes it incredible. Now, if you're me, you'd already have cycled your board, and then you just kind of wait a few hours and then post the result. It works the same charm. Or you can have people focus on you when you said it, and then all you need to do is bust your butt. And when you're talking to someone, they say, hey, man, what's up? You say, hey, bro, I'm about to have a $125 day. Little did they know that they're going to be the person that makes you have a $125 day. It's chess. It's the way that you set it up. And uh, before Carl goes into uh, basically setting up the technical stuff, I want to share this with you guys. Um, just real quick, it's my seven core commitments for uh, just getting wired up for success. And wired up's an acronym, right? Can everyone see my screen? Yeah, they should be able to. I'm able to. Okay, I have some leads that are calling me right now, guys. Like no joke. One moment. <laughs> no, seriously, man. I had to just tell them to hold on. But look, basically, check this out. Really quickly. Know your why. In fact, yeah, let me do it like this. Know your why, okay? I think about my why as soon as I get up. Why? Because it's a subconscious mind thing. Um, can you guys see my screen? Mm-hmm. You can see it? Yeah, okay. Hold on, guys. This is horribly not professional, but check this out. Like, I have literal leads calling my phone. Can you see this? Yeah. Give me, give me a moment. Uh, to just text them and say I'm on a webinar. You know what? Yeah, let me um, let me touch up on on a little something and, and show you guys what we mean by playing chess. I'm gonna do a little uh, light screen share here. So, okay. Um, let me know when you can. I, I can see my own screen on the Hangout, so everybody should be able to see it. Now, I'll do a light intro to IC. Okay, refresh everybody's minds. Guys, this is a $25 per month program, right? We have seven business centers to work with. This is just one way to get paid out of seven different ways to get paid. I won't tap into the residual, all the car bonuses and everything. I'll just show you what happens when people take their business seriously. Now, I had uh, this guy, Matt Lee. I told him to take action. He said, you know, should I do it now? And knowing, knowing how, how I build my business, I'm moving fast. I, we have to move fast. Right, it's momentum that carries you to the top. 
So I told him, yeah, jump on. Because you're going to position him, who's not a great marketer. You're going to position him to, to be able to get help because you know that your teammates are coming back. By the way, Jade Brooks just made another 125, if you're wondering how did she get there. She popped back up literally maybe 10 minutes ago or something. He made another 125, and now uh, Matt is going to get help from another person. Whether he brings them in or I do, or one of my teammates pop back up, he's going to be able to get help because I positioned it this way. I made sure that they, you know, they would have good positions. And you know, if you're watching this right now, this is what you get to do in all, every day. Like every day I check my, my online account, right? Instead of going on Instagram to lollygag and, and do WCWs, or go on Facebook and you know share Sharkeisha stuff. I'm out here building a business. We're young, and there's young people, there's older people, and we're out here building businesses, guys. And it's all about leverage. What a lot of people don't do, right? And I don't know if you do this, Jermaine, but I I dissect this thing. You know, we try to dissect it and see what's going on. Now I can go in my website because we have the power to do so and check out your team. You know, see see what's going on with who, what's going on with what teammate, how their build their business growing. And as you can see, Matt got a new teammate because Jay, you know, positioned herself, made money, and and it popped back under him. He didn't do anything yet. It's powerful. He didn't do anything yet. So what we're gonna do now is uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about the the lead pages, right? One of the products, the IC lead pages. Some people are wondering. What it does, what are you doing with it? You know, I'm testing it out right now, and I'm just gonna literally make a page live. Um, let's let's go to uh, my pages, see what I have already, and let's see. Let's start from scratch. I'm gonna start from scratch, and what I wanted to do was make a webinar page, literally. And since I already was going through this, I will show you guys how simple it is to basically throw some content together and be able to have a live webinar. So. You go to, you know, you choose a template, all right? Choose a template and you add pictures to the template. It's drag and drop, you know, edit everything. And for the most part, you know, you could do stuff like this. And when you do paid traffic, guys, and say you have a, you know, you have a captivating title that's going to get targeted people to your business. You can say stuff like, <laughs> and don't, you know, we're not going to take this seriously. Hey, targeted person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Uh, check out, I'm being dyslexic right now. Check out these three weird ways to get in tons of leads online. Now, what we did here was do a little bit of hypnotic, you know, copyright. And essentially, what this person will see is if there are, you know, they're a, they're a marketer, right? They're going to see this and react to it in such a way that is going to make them more inclined to opt in. All right, so basically we can do stuff like that. See, it pops out. Hey, targeted person, check out the three three weird ways to get in tons tons of leads online. You know, webinar by this person, that person. Um, P.S. You'll never have to leave your home. Pops out. Okay, I got, that's an ugly smiley. We'll leave it alone. Um, you know, you can either write something here or leave it alone or, or watch the free video series below and you can literally make a series or something. And then grab an embed code like we have this hangout right now. I can grab an embed code from YouTube and plug it in here, guys. And then, like I was saying, like uh, Jermaine was talking about value. Like I'm talking about value. What can you offer these people to make them come back to you? What does the lady at um, uh, Stone Cold Creamery's ice cream give you when she wants you to come back? Give you an extra um, lollipop or like some extra sprinkles? 
They give you extra something. You get a free handbag. Uh, buy one, get one free. We're marketers, so we have to give deals. We have to incentivize our people. They're going to get training, yeah, but emphasize what kind of training, how many hours of it, who is providing the training, what's their level of expertise. When you start doing stuff like that, you're going to position yourself. All right, Run it like a business. That's the key here. Run it like a business. And I wanted to touch on this so you can see quickly how you can even throw a webinar page up together. Say you're targeting people from a specific business. You can do stuff like this easily. And then make your webinar you know, about that business. It's powerful stuff. Take this info and run with it. Implement it. I know this is what I'm going to be doing all week. I'm going to be running advertisements and testing this out. All right. Don't be afraid to fail. I want to fail. I want to find out how quickly I can mess up so I can get this stuff right. <laughs> That's what your mindset should be like. When you're when you're when you have our mindsets, right? When you have the entrepreneurial mindset, it should be how quickly can I fail to get to my first success? And then when I get to that first success, how am I gonna take it and like Jermaine was saying, create a new one out of that? This is something I learned from from Vic Stryhouse. Um you know, top marketer. The concept is there is no such thing as I can't generate leads because once you get a certain amount of success, just a tiny little bit, here, guys, people are watching. They're watching. They're not liking, all right, they're watching. They're not commenting, they're still watching. And best believe that they're going to inbox you if you're consistent and you continue to apply and grow in your business and leverage this program, help your teammates grow, commit to paying your 25, commit to uh, coaching your, your new members, commit to marketing every day, commit to, um, to doing everything. Who's Matty Cruz? Oh, that's Alfredo, bro. <laughs> Where? I'm like, who's that? That's but I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let you finish. I have one more thing to, uh, to do. I really want to over deliver and just show the uh, little slideshow that I put together. But let's see. He see that's gonna come back on. He doesn't know why his camera's off. Let me see. Uh, it looks like he hopped off, but I'm sure he'll be back on. Um, go ahead, Carl. I'm gonna let you finish. Okay. So um, yeah, basically, guys. You want to focus on giving value, and with the more value that you can give, the more bonuses that you can provide, the more training that you can hand out, the more you take control of it, you're going to get to the next level. And I wanted to show you guys, um, you know, I know everybody. You see, he has a daily action plan. I have a daily action plan. It's, it's stuff like this that's going to help you take your business seriously, and everything that that you take seriously, if you really like focus your energy on the right places, you can do a lot of damage. Now, personally, my first commitment is that everybody pays their $25 per month. If you're in this program, you're in Ingresso Cybernetico, you should be paying your $25. You should know exactly what you do with your first cycle. Your first $125 check, right? 100 goes to upgrade. And 25 goes to pay your membership. And that's essentially what, what you want to focus on. You want to focus on building your team and helping them duplicate. So read read daily, all right? Listen to audio daily. This is stuff that's crucial. Maybe you're at work, you're on your way uh, to work, you're, you're at your job, but you got a CD, guys. You got audio players. You can put good stuff into it. You can listen to personal development every single day on your way to and from various places so that you're feeding your mind the right stuff. And once you feed your mind the right stuff, now you can you can absorb the information. Okay, You can now take it and share it with people. You can give value. You learn stuff. When you learned what 2 plus 2 was, you know, 20 minutes later, you know, you knew what 2 plus 2 was. Or if you were slower, it probably took you like a week and a half or something. But when you, once you learned it, now you're able to take that info and share it with other people. So that's the gift of network marketing. We're marketing, but we're networking. And when you network, you share, you give value, you connect. Um, and every single new member that you get, coach them. Get them on the right path. Give them the same alignment that got you to where, where you needed to be, your head start. Get on all team webinars, attend the events. That's you know what I want everybody to focus on 
if they want to take this business seriously, and everything else does come together. When you, fo when you have the structure right, all the other stuff comes to play. You want to get leads? Leads are in abundance. Once you tap your mind frame to believe that they're in abundance, you're going to get leads. They're all over the place. Like my, if, I, if there's a lizard on the patio, that's a lead. You're going to try to sign up. <laughs> I got 50 for you right here. You're gonna, you have to get on the board. And that's your mentality. Everybody has to win with this program because you're helping them. Focus on that. Focus on helping people, and you know we'll, we'll, we'll all take this to the top. Great value, man. That's that's incredible stuff. And I, I just want to bounce off it real quick. But uh, if you guys can see my screen, I'm just gonna finish what I was showing you. Just let me know if you can see it. Right? Can you see it? Yes, I can see your screen. All right, cool. Because um, I want to hurry up and speak because I know that Alfredo just hopped on and I want him to you know close this out with a bang. But guys, um, let's just kill the victim mentality. All right, I just learned a long time ago that uh, uh, amateurs they start a business and pros they launch a business. They come out with a bang, and a lot of the time you'll see me on my wall or you won't see me because I don't even if it's not big enough I won't even share it to be honest. And so let's just. Um, it's in the 30-day blueprint, day six, you know, let's go from distributor to entrepreneur. Let's take accountability. A distributor, they're just in the company making employee money. Uh, a person who's an entrepreneur, I, I loved it. Carl said it the other day, if there's no way, we make a way, right? If there's no way, we make a way. We're going to find it. We're going to do it. We're not going to do it based off of line five, you know, chapter six in the company rule guidelines, not saying we do it illegally, meaning we, we don't just follow a script. We, we create. We do different things. We do whatever it takes to just make the result happen. All right? So when you, when you wake up, start with your why. Think about your why. Do you want to retire your family? You know? Do you want to help uh, you know, someone out? Like whatever the reason is, think about your deepest goals as soon as you wake up. I promise you, I promise you, every check I've ever made, I thought about it as soon as I woke up. And almost conversely, every time I didn't think about it, I never really got it. Why? Because I never really wanted it. So think about your why because, you know, when you wake up, you're in dream state and your brain doesn't know the difference between reality and uh, non-reality, right? So spend about 10 minutes. This is just an exercise. Spend about 10 minutes thinking about who you are now and who you want to be later. What's it going to take for you to be the person you see yourself as in the future and start doing that? Dwayne Golden checked me one time. Uh, he said, Bro, what have you been doing recently? I said, been training my team. He said, mm-hmm. So, um, you know, have you made any money this week? I said, no. He said, why? I said, I don't know, man. I've been training my team. He said, how much, how much energy have you been putting into your business centers? I said, oh, right? And then the day after he told me that, I made like a $900 day check, right? So I say that to say this. Whatever you focus on is what you get. Focus on your business centers. Like T Carl showed you, you know, based on who's in your back office, Think about what moves you can make. What can you do to make sure that it, you know, it closes and it benefits everyone. So think about who you want to be because those are the kind of things that leaders do, right? You see yourself with like a, a 5 billion uh, people following, you know, maxed out Facebook. You know, people are itching to add you, but they can't because, you know, everyone already is a friend. Think about who you want to be. Think about what you like to accomplish and what you need to do to do it. Listen to inspiration, and the reason I have it in this order is because when you think of your why and then you listen to some inspiration, some Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, some Anthony Robbins, right, and then uh, go through the 30-day uh, blueprint and get inspired by the product that you have, guys. The reason some of you guys are not making it in Ingresso is because you don't love Ingresso. Do you realize what you have? This, I mean, you have me and Carl. You have the CEO who created a blueprint who just – Dedicated, I mean, so much time to you who gave you products so you can win, a comp plan so you can achieve. Fall in love with the company. Get inspired, right? So now you have your why. Now you have your audios. Now you know the company. And then after you've read, that's when you start posting and giving out exposure. Why? Because every exposure now has substance. Substance from your why. Substance from the book you just read. Substance from the 30-day blueprint. Substance from every form of inspiration possible. And it gives you excitement, which is fuel to your business, right? And um, when you expose it, you got to understand, uh, hold on, you got to understand that people who fail in this industry, 97% of those who fail did because they had no exposure. What's exposure? Hey, man, 
What are you doing today? Dude, I'm focused on my business. That little statement's exposure. Hey, what are you doing? Focused on this $125 a day. What are you doing? Oh, Team Easy Money's having a webinar. Exposure. Every single way, every creative way that you can change your business without being too pushy is exposure, right? The Walmart analogy. Would Walmart have, uh, if Walmart basically had no customers, right? If, if no one walked in their store and bought, what would happen? Right? If you're struggling, how many people are you talking to a day about your business? Oh, Jermaine, because, click, up? click to make sure your screen is the main one showing. Okay. How do I do that? Uh, go back to the Hangout. Okay. And then you'll select it because you're the moderator. There you go. Select your screen. There you go. All right, cool. So do you want me to go back or is it? Yeah, you want. Um, we missed uh, the first the first couple slides because of that. All right. Okay. So basically, what I was saying is, you want to make sure that you have your why. As soon as you wake up, think about it. Because if you if you wake up with it on your mind, most likely you're gonna do it. That's just how I've you know found things to work for me. And what I was saying is, the special thing about when you wake up, you're kind of in dream state, and your subconscious starts to work on solutions, right? Your thoughts become reality. Your thoughts become uh, words which become actions, right? And I was saying about spending 10 minutes thinking about who you are and who you want to be and what you'd like to accomplish. Because think about it. If you think about where you are now, realistic analyzation, and you think about where you want to be, you automatically your mind will bridge the gap on how to get there. Okay? If you have a strong enough why, how will automatically come. In fact, that's a, a quote by Anthony Robbins. Can you guys see my screen okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So... Basically, I was showing you inspiration. I mean, let me slow down a little bit. What I mean by inspiration, I found that personal development, okay, business is personal development disguised as a way to make money. Your business will grow as fast as you grow. So what that actually means is I believe that the more quotes you know, and that doesn't mean go on Google and search for quotes. It means the things that genuinely change your life, okay, are going to be the things that uh, when people talk to you, it makes you a value machine. Everything you say is gold. For example, I was at a high school, uh, I was playing, I played the piano, right, I was in a jazz band, and I was with my girlfriend, and we went outside just to chill, just to get some air, and I saw this quote, it said, be the change you want to see in the world. I never knew it was from Gandhi, but it was on a high school building, and it stuck with me forever. Be the change you want to see in the world. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, individuals win games, but teams win championships. Just quotes, right, that... It'll change people's lives. It'll change your life. And again, that inspiration will come out when you are uh, when you when you're on your statuses, when you're talking to people. The reason I have the 30-day blueprint is you can get inspiration from the products. You'll what I mean by inspiration is you'll you'll just listen to them. You'll you'll listen to what you actually have, and you're like, hmm, I know how I can use that. That's inspiration. Don't let it sit in your head. Take action and do. Whatever it takes to, you know, birth what you saw in your brain, what you saw on in the inside, right? Birth it. And Dwayne uses a lot of quotes. You know, the greatest servants are, are the best leaders. You know, that's a quote that he uses a lot. Okay. And oh, this this is another quote that impacted me that Dwayne said. You ready? He said, "Guys, if you think you're leading and no one's following you, just taking a walk." That one made me think. That's, that's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, uh, in terms of books, my favorite book is Proverbs, you know, the Bible. And then there's the Master Key to Riches. This one recently changed my life. Book Nuggets, Launching a Leadership Revolution, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. So what I'm saying in showing you all these books and all this personal development is take initiative. Don't wait for your sponsor. If he, resp if he responds, ooh, that's a bonus, even better, but you're an independent business owner. Take initiative. You think you think when I get someone on my business center, you think I'm waiting for them to get their people? No. No. You know what? I'm going to go as hard as I can. I'm going to close it myself because in doing so, I just gave them spillovers. And then when they get their people, most likely they'll close and pump, pop back into me again. It's all about serving. So that's what I was trying to show you. And the Walmart analogy, I was just simply saying uh, what would happen if Walmart never had any customers. If you find yourself struggling, how many people are you talking to? And I was going into, uh, it's called the law of averages. You know, you talk to 10 people, you usually get one or two signups. Uh, Jim Rohn said a powerful thing. Whenever, whenever he used to do home meetings and uh, uh, just phone calls, he'd say, look, I have this wonderful opportunity that I'm bringing to the table, and I don't even care if, you know, you look at it. You just have to show up. 
I don't care. About seven people will say no, but three people will say yes. You can just be one of the seven. It would blow their minds. What do you mean? And then he'd say, uh, he'd say something like, uh, I just wanted you to know that if when this makes me rich, you know, you can't say I never gave you the opportunity. That, that was crazy. It's like reverse psychology to the max. And, and it goes hand in hand with what Carl said about almost being nonchalant, whether they join you or not, because you're the big shot. You're the business owner. You're the one with the solution that they don't have. Right. So, uh, by the way, you need to have goals. You can't. Oh my goodness! This one. This is another quote that impacted me. How do you hit a target that you can't see? Better yet, how do you hit a target that you don't even have? So let's just say you're struggling in your business, like Dwayne Golden told me. You know, are you focusing on your business? And what have you done? To, you know, I was focused on the team, right? Nothing wrong with the team, but. Your income, guys, if you don't say, I want to make 5K, I want to make 2K, most likely you're not going to make any progress. Why? Because you don't have a target. You have, no, you have nothing to aim at. So you're just going to be basically lollygagging, not even on purpose, but subconsciously because you have nothing to aim for. The minute you get a target, you put a date on it, and you'll be surprised. You start working towards it. You don't know what you're doing, but things will start just kind of falling into place is what I noticed. Um, okay, goal setting, all right? So in terms of goals and business centers, I don't even sign people up on a 50, to be honest. How, how long is it going to take you to hit 10K a month with $125, you know, uh, what you call it, commissions? Sign people up on a 50 and a 100, because think about it. With the same six people, you can just sign them up for 150 each and make 425 over and over. It's, it's going to get you to your goal a lot faster, okay? So um, goal setting. Use the business centers to decide how much you want a day. Yes, I said want a day because sometimes, guys, I don't even get a commission. Like this is what will happen with me, genuinely. I'll be, I'll be like, man, I want to make maybe $300 a day, realistically. And sometimes I won't even make it that day, but what will happen is in about two days, right, in about two or three days, I would have made $900. But literally, had I made the same commission I wanted that day, on the third day, it would all add up. So I made $900. I said I wanted to make $300 that day. So for the next three days, I did $300 worth of work, and I closed that business center. So you need goals. Um, <clears throat> your goal should be to focus on bringing at least two people a day. <clears throat> the reason I say that is even if you don't sign them up, but just because that's your goal and your focus, you'll, you'll be ever closer, right? Because if you can bring in two people a day, right, you'll be cycling at least twice a week. Okay? So look, 10K is very easy. And guys, I'm at 5K right now. So is Carl. So it's very possible. We're doing it. I'm just showing you. If I wanted to make 10K a month, right? A matter of a, uh, of a few more chess moves. That's all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Adopting chess moves, guys. And let me just define chess moves for those of you who might have just came on. Chess moves is finding out what you can do with your business center. So as you can see, for example, you guys are like, oh, I have to recruit six. No, not really. Think about it. If I'm looking at these two people right here, okay, what, I'm, I'm going to go to this guy and I'm going to say, okay, what can I do to get you two people? You, you know, so let's just say uh, I do a launch call, right? I get 10 people on a call, call and let's say you're with me or Carl or... Alfredo, and we're explaining the opportunity, and two people sign up, boom, that's two spots filled, and then you have two spots left. What can I do here? Oh, okay, someone under me is one person away, so if I can help them get that one person, they'll make a check and pop right back here. Boom, that's three people, and then there's one person left. Chess moves. At this point, guys, sometimes you can even say, and I don't advise this, but if you have a really, uh, you know this person's a potential heavy hitter, and they they just don't have the money for the opportunity, you can actually help them in, help them never give anything away completely free. Just tell them, hey, look, you give me $50, and I'll put you on a $100 business center, okay? So they come in, they, they load $50 into the IC wallet, they send it to you, and you load $50, right? And you put them in. That's $100. They get in, and you cycle. So you invested $50 and got back uh, 250 Think about that, cause you know. Advanced module. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chess this moves. Really chess moves. Real chess moves. So, uh, 10k a month game plan. All right. 
if you cycle twice a week on at least two business centers, um, uh, you can easily make over 10k a month. And I did the math for you guys. These are my own checks, so you know I'm not just making this up. And how do I know it works? Because I'm at 5k right now. I'm halfway there, literally. In fact, after the next few checks, I'm gonna be at like six. Okay. So watch this. Okay. Assuming that you're serious about your business and you're on at least 100 and 300. Notice I don't even mention it. All right. What you can do is. You know that you make a $900 check and a $300 check, that's $1,200. If you can do it twice, that's $2,400 a week, okay? Now, think about that. $2,400 a week for four weeks is $9,600 a month. Now, I know you guys are saying, that's not 10 k Just wait for it, all right? But let me backtrack before I move forward. Remember, talking to two people, uh, you know, did I say two people? My bad. Talking to... Uh, uh, trying to get two signups a day, that's what I meant to say. What that will do is two signups a day, every three days, think about it, two, four, six, in the third day, you would have signed, uh, you would have cycled. So think about it. Uh, you can cycle twice in any given week. That's where this comes from, and this is the formula I've been following. So going, going forward, like, remember, just the goal is cycling the hundred, uh, uh, the my bad. Cycling the 900, so that's the $300 business center, and cycling the 100, which is the, you know, it pays you out 300%, uh, 300 commissions. Everything pays out 300%, right? So just cycling the 100 and 300. Focus on it, you'll get it. It looks daunting at first. It's like I can't do it, but you can. Trust me. I battled that uh, many times and overcame every time. So you can do it too. All right. So after you've done that, and this is just going back to the last page, you know, 2,400 every week. You can do it. But how do you know you can't? Stop being insecure. You can do it, but you've never aimed for it. That's why you think you can't, so aim for it. Okay? So think about this. For every five people, remember, on the $300 business center, for every five you bring in, you get a car bonus. You get, you get, you get $500 before you even cycle the $300 business center. So you get $500, and then you cycle and get that sixth person, right? Because five people gives you $500. And that sixth person gives you 900 that's $1,400, guys. So look, for every five people who are on the $300 business center, you get an extra $500 car bonus. So if you cycle twice, you would make an extra $1,000. So you'd make 500 from the first time you cycled, 500 from the second time you cycled, that's 1000 And then if and, and in addition, you also got 900 both of those times that you cycled. So basically... That's 900 plus 900 plus 500 plus 500. So that's $2,800. It's crazy. And uh, you can see that 2400 a week cycling twice on both the 300 and 100 plus the, uh, the $100 car bonus. That's 3400 a week, guys. 3400 a week. In four months, that's 13 k Okay? In a year... If you do this every single month, you can see that's clearly six figures. I laid it out pretty, pretty smooth. And if you don't understand it, I'm just gonna go back real quick so you can see it. Think about it. If you focus on signing people up on 100 and the 300, you tell them to drop four. Look, you can do it like this. Oh, and, and, and as a, a disclaimer, John Gelardi showed me this. If you guys sign people up on the high levels before you sign them up on the 50, their 25 monthly subscriptions not gonna be. Uh, it's not gonna come through. So make sure you sign them up on the 50 first. But look, be creative. You could say, hey, jump on the 300 and the 100, and I'll pay your 50 for free. What do you have to lose? Okay? And if you do that to six people, you just, look, you know, you just made $1,200 real easy. Right? So there's ways around this stuff, guys. And the last part is basically the checklist. Talk to 10 to 20 people. Um, this is starting to get into like Facebook crusher. Talk to 10 to 20 people a day. Why? You talk to 10, two sign up, one or two. So you talk to 20, four sign up. Talk to 30, and you just cycled because six people will sign up. Law of averages. All right. So uh, and think about this. When this starts to duplicate, what if you have two teammates that are doing the same thing that you're doing, and they're getting two a day? You're cycling so fast, you're probably cycling three or four times a day. Seriously, it can get that crazy. If you focus on getting six heavy hitters who duplicate with you, and you're bringing in two people every day or every two days, and they're doing the exact same thing, and they're on your board, they'll close it for you, and everyone you bring will be on an open board. 
and they'll get your spillovers and it gets crazy. So um, I'm going to skip this because all that is is this. I'm going to show you my kind of post. This is my usual regimen, all right? I'll do a value post in the morning, something that basically most people haven't heard or something they didn't know. I do an inspirational post, sometimes a picture or a quote, something that will inspire. I'll post a result from the business or share a teammate's check, right? I'll do a personal post, something about my family, goals, personal life, something like that. A branding post, something with a nice picture, uh, improving, showing improving lifestyle. I'll do a product-related post, showing how it's useful. My favorite thing to do is just use the 30-day blueprint or something I learned in Spanish. It's, you know, and then I'll do a call to action at the end. And a call to action is usually with a check. So notice I said six of the seven because sometimes seven, I'll wait until I get a check to specifically use it. So a value-related post, an example would be, your mind is conditioned for the acceptance of, oh, your mind must be conditioned for the acceptance of riches, just like soil is conditioned for the acceptance of seed. Look, 22 likes. Remember that thing about the list I showed you? Look, look who liked this. Guys, Jermaine Steele like this. I don't know if you know this, but he's a six-figure earner from Empower Network. This stuff works, guys. I'm not just saying this. It's, I had to learn, not necessarily struggling in the industry for seven months, but for a good two months of my first uh, two months in the industry, I had to learn. No one showed me this. Okay, you guys are just getting it for free. So, um, Inspirational post. Take a picture or quote something that will inspire, like this. Work hard in silence. Let your success make noise. And remember what I said about quote, the more of these you have under your belt, the more of a nugget machine you will be to other people. Uh, this is another uh, inspirational kind of post. It's not a picture like the last one, but look, network marketing is not perfect, just better. But this picture depicts family, it depicts people relaxing. Here's John Gilardi, Pete, there's Alfredo over here, there's uh, Christine, I believe, so many people, right? But look at this, they got 52 likes. I want you guys to see this. Because this is how, this is my perception of branding. I wanted to tap into that a little bit. You're you're tapping now into what's called somebody's emotional spectrum. You're you're going above and beyond the money, right? You're going above and beyond the the program itself, and you're tapping into their their family. They see that they see themselves there, and that's why they're liking it. They envision their future. They see what we're doing. They just don't have the confidence yet. And as, as soon as you can show them, guys, I have 80% belief in you. I just need you to get that 20 and meet us halfway. It's it, it really can help you close your sales. Focus on developing relationships. And these people, they want just what you want. They want what I want. They want what Jermaine wants, what Alfredo wants. Complete freedom. You know, we're going to you know, take a lot of people to the top. Just everybody wants complete freedom, and that's why we do this. Help other people, engage with them, build relationships, and focus on helping people. If that's not a golden nugget, I don't know what it is. Help focus on helping people. Yeah, and truthfully, I'm going to look you in the eyes when I say this. I really want to bounce off what he said. You don't have to recruit six people. Think about this. What if you focus on helping the two you already have? You get so consumed with helping them, you don't care about your cycling. You just need to make sure that they get at least their first two. You would cycle, right? Let me finish this, and uh, hopefully Alfredo can wrap it up. Um, so, yeah, posting a picture. something. This will inspire. This says family to me, right? All right, moving on. Post a result from the business. Boom, it just keeps going. You know what I've, I've learned? Sometimes with checks and stuff, the less I say, the better. But I say a lot just because I know that every check I post, literally, I get like one or two signups off of. I found that out. It's, as long as it's over like $300. But any result will do, truthfully. But usually the ones over $300, I know for a fact that I get one or two signups off of. So uh, sometimes it's worth promoting it for 7 bucks. You spend 7 bucks and you cycle. So... Anyway, um, here's, uh, I remember I did a live webinar on this. Can you guys see my screen okay? Yep, I can see it. it I did a live webinar on this where I showed the fact that, guys, just because you don't have results yet doesn't mean you can't succeed. Because for my first week, listen, I transitioned from another company to uh, IC, and it was the toughest week of my life, guys. I was posting about it. I, I'm a guy that loves branding. If I don't see likes on my wall, I mean, I get mad. Like, hey, what's going on? And what are you doing? Man? 
right? And it was the toughest week of my life. But I was sharing. I, I started there, guys. I, and think about this. Before I started really promoting IC, I had had $125 a day with it, and it didn't matter. Because the thing is, you have to keep the ball rolling. Momentum is going to be the key to your business. So anyway, like I was saying, um, I shared this, and I promise you, I promise you, people were on my wall like, Jermaine, you rock, and I felt bad. I was like, man, it's not even my results. Guys, sharing results works. People literally can't tell the difference between you and someone else sometimes. Especially when they're outside the business. They're, they're outside. They don't know if you made that check. Even though it says, boom, congrats to someone else, okay? So share results because it shows that you're a part of something bigger than yourself. And again, there's a difference between sharing results and letting people tag you. Look, let me, let me just make this point clear because uh, let, me, let, me, let me go over here, okay? Um, check this out. Check this out. Oops. I'm going to go to my wall, okay? I'm going to show you guys something. Some of you guys don't know how to stop other people's posts from coming on your wall. I'm going to show you how to do it. You go here, and you go to Timeline Review, I believe it is. Right? Mm, nuggets. I'm telling you, I mean, it's important. You can choose. You can, look, view tags. You can choose to have them approved before you even, man, that blowing me up. You, you can choose to have it approved before you let it on your wall. That doesn't mean be selfish, guys. Listen. Oh, let me give you a look another little nugget, all right? What people don't realize about me is I'm so over the top sometimes that, like, if everyone's on a post and everyone's like, welcome, 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 I'll be the one like, welcome, you couldn't have chose the best, you know, a better leader, you know, stand out, okay? Because it's going to make people add you more, and when someone tags you, look, you just click on the post that they tagged you in, right? You juice them, boom, 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 right? Actually, let me actually juice this. Welcome, the young dynamo is on fire. I couldn't have chose a better person to sign up with. You know why I'm doing this? Because it will give the person who joined Ingresso, oops, what the heck happened? It will give the person who joined Ingresso confidence, right? And It'll help you stand out. And guys, if you're new, like you just joined, find people who resonate with you. You talk to me, talk to Carl, and I build a relationship with them to the point where they genuinely want to comment on your wall posts and stuff like that. They'll look out for you if you reach out to them. And that way, you know, you can be a part of the team and feel like a part of the team instead of alienating yourself. Okay. So back to this. Sharing results. It works, guys. Again, people are like, welcome, uh, well done, Jermaine. And it wasn't even my result. And it was this exact post. That's why I put it on it. So... Um, something personal about family goals, okay? I consider this team, Team Easy Money, and everyone really family. Why am I so passionate about our team? Why am I so passionate about this opportunity? Because we can go from a Lamborghini to being bunched up in the same van just because we want to be near each other. Like minds in Russell family, 48 likes. Because people love this stuff, right? So you just kind of have to be creative. Branding posts with a nice picture. This is my favorite. I actually use this one the most out of everything. But I, I like Alfredo's because this, um, just look at it. Love the home business life. Whenever whenever I feel like it can, oh, whenever I feel like I can, I just get, uh, just get up and go. Me and my son decide to go wash the BMW together, right? And then it's like a cute kid washing a BMW. For one, it says he has money. It's a BMW. Duh. Two, I mean, who, who wouldn't like this picture? You'd have to have, like, no heart, right? And so, basically, it had 128 likes. It's a nice break from all the ingresso checks so people don't think that you're all about money, right? That's why I posted a picture, uh, pictures of my girlfriend and I's uh, date last night, right? And, um, guys, the key is to not necessarily do too much of one thing because if you keep posting these, everyone's just going to be like, ah, I'm going to keep liking your stuff, but they're not going to join your business. And that was me for a while and until Alfredo told me, you got on the... <laughs> he, was like, he was like, bro, you sound like a person in love. <laughs> you know, where's your business? I was like, oh, yeah. So I had, to, I had to take my girlfriend off my wall, you know, moderation, right? And uh, branding posts, showing improving lifestyle. This is probably the most important, okay? And I'll say it's even more important than, uh, okay, 
I know that I posted these and they have the same title, branding posts with you know improving lifestyle, but let me show you why one's better than the other. Even though this is cute, this is what's gonna make your business blow up. Now you don't have to have a Lamborghini to do this, but this is how I started. This is actually the first nugget I learned in network marketing from myself. Mm -hmm. All right. I noticed that you could start network marketing, right? You might not have a car, you might not have made any money at all. But what you can do is if if you're posting a picture, hold on, let me mute somebody. Okay. If if you're posting a picture, guys, and let's just say it's a picture of you reading a book, it shows improving lifestyle. Okay, improving lifestyle. If if you're at a uh, if you could take a picture at your job, right? And you can have a screenshot. Let's just say you have the kind of job where you can be at a computer. You can say, I'm at my job working on my business. I'm working full-time on my job and part-time on my future, something like that. That improving lifestyle will make people say, hold on, what are you doing? Let me be a part of that. Okay? It's the same kind of category, branding posts with a nice picture showing improving lifestyle. That's why I use Lamborghinis because, you know, I went from, like, no Lamborghini to, you know, riding around in one. So improving lifestyle. And you want to show people consistently how you're moving up, how you're moving up. Keep improving. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep stretching. Don't ever be comfortable, ever. Okay? And I'm going to keep over-delivering. I'm not going to drag it out too much, but... You want to talk about the products real quick. Post about the products. Alfredo used Facebook Crusher, so look, I posted it. This is my picture. I took it, 51 likes, okay? And an authority post. This is an example. You guys see all the fun we're having on the team. You see how we're consistently growing. You see how we're all addicted to winning. Join the winning team inbox me. Tell them what to do, okay? So I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to show you one more thing, and then I'm done, okay? So uh, just give me one moment. And I'm going to share my screen again because I'm going into my Amazon account so I could show you guys this. It's so important, and this is going to set so many of you guys free. It's going to change your life because uh, it changed my life. Once you, once you put winning into definable terms, success is easy. It literally becomes a matter of time, right? Um, guys, you can do it. You can really, really do it. I believe that, I truly, truly believe the only way to fail is to give up. When you stop moving, because if you're not growing, you're dying. So if you haven't posted on your wall in 10 years, of course your business is going to be slow. Don't just sit there and if you might be stuck, just ask for help. Ask someone who knows what they're doing, right? You have results. So I'm, I'm in my Amazon account looking for a specific picture which will help you. Because it helped me, right? And uh, when I find it, boom, okay. I'm going to share my screen now, and you guys are going to see this, okay? This is my last point for today. Can you guys see my screen? So far, nothing. Nothing? No, now I see it. Now I see it. Now I see it. You're on your Kindle. Yeah. Okay. And, and readers, leaders are readers, guys, so read, 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 read. Okay, cool. Leadership. It's so important to me. If you can just learn to be a better leader, man, your business will blow up. Okay? You have people, you want to sign people up, but what, what happens when they get here? Come up with a game plan for your future teammates, guys. Take initiative. Okay. So these are your dreams. Okay, there's two roads. The road of mediocrity and the road of a leader. I noticed that leaders, I can attest to this, leaders tend to be more frustrated, right? They tend to be seen as more aggressive because they're more of lions. And what happened? My bad. It was a GoPro started playing. Yeah. So so check this out. All right, guys. On the left side of mediocrity, okay. On the left side, this is the road of mediocrity. You have the shoulder of comfort. The reason why some of you guys are not doing good is because you're too comfortable. I found. Think about it. If you're comfortable, there's no growth. I learned something, right? Most people think the saying no pain, no gains means, oh, you know, if you're not feeling pain, you're not gaining anything. No, that's not what it means. I'll give you an example. Muhammad Ali, guys, I'm looking in the eyes as I say this because I need you to connect and understand what I'm saying. Muhammad Ali, they asked him, Muhammad, how many sit-ups do you do? How many push-ups do you do? You know what he said? He said, I don't know. They said, what do you mean you don't know? He said, 
I keep going until it hurts, and then I start counting. <laughs> Think about this. Think about this for a minute. No pain, no gain. Most people keep pushing. Let's say you're pumping weights. They push until, I don't know, it starts hurting. And then they're like, yeah, that's a good workout. And then they stop. Notice they don't grow. How the correct way to do it, and some of you guys just learn how to work out, you keep pushing, and when it starts hurting, that's when you start counting. Because every time, every one after it starts hurting is worth more than everything you did before. All right? So keep pushing. You know, you, you, you're going in your business, you're going hard, and it's not working, but then you start to see little results. That's, that's when it starts counting, everything you do after that. So let me go back to this real quick. The ditch of complacency. Some of you guys are stuck here. Get out of it. Okay? Get out of complacency. I was here for a while thinking that because I was posting, I was working my business. No, no, no. You're not working your business. You're just getting started. You're preparing. A lot of you guys think that because you're, and this, this is harsh, but you need to hear it. Just because you made a blog, you're doing the business. No, you're preparing. When you start marketing that blog, that's when, uh, you know you're doing the business, right? Income producing activities. Mm -hmm. Leaders, some of you leaders, you're, you're too discouraged, man. You know that you can do it. You sense the capability within yourself, but you're just so frustrated. Why can't I do this? What's going on? Well, you're too frustrated. Calm down and start planning. Start making chess moves like me and Carl showed you. And think about this. You could be a leader on the road of mediocrity. I was there too, man. And what's going to happen is if you don't stop, you're going to go and get into a car crash, a head-on collision. Okay? So aside from the diagram, the best way to go about this, okay, find your own lane. Your only competition is yourself. It doesn't matter if I had a $900 day if, or if Carl or John Gelardi made 10 k It doesn't matter. Compete with yourself. Do the best with what you have, literally. Are you doing the very best with every single second that you have? Some of you guys say you have no time. I beg to differ. I beg to differ because I made $300 yesterday in three hours. What was I doing? I was reading a book and I started posting and talking to people on Facebook. No capture page setting up. No WordPress needed. Not right now. Because if it's not broken, why fix it? Now go ahead, guys. Set that stuff up. It's important. But I'm just saying that's not what I needed to make money. A lot of you guys, you know, it, it's not complicated. Just just find your own lane and measure yourself. Measure your growth. Say, okay, how many people did I talk to today? What was the conversion rate like? Okay, I talked to 10. I didn't get a sign-up. Maybe I should talk to 11. Oh, I talked to 11 and get a sign-up and duplicate. Outdo yourself. I do it with all the time with my videos. I make videos. Ah, man, this video is so hard to beat. I put so much into it. What can I do to make it better? Well, I didn't do this in that last video, so that's what I'll do in my next video. Oh, I didn't do this in my last video. Your only competition is yourself, and you take it a second at a time, guys, a second at a time, inch by inch by inch. The next thing you know, all of a sudden you're successful. Success isn't just one big event, it just happens. It's all the little things. It's one, it's one win after another. One win. Ah, okay, boom, did it. Okay, next thing, boom, you knock it out. The next thing you know, when you look behind you, there's a trail of success that follows. All right? And uh, I will close with that. <laughs> Can you guys hear me at all? Yeah, we yeah. can. <laughs> Uh, I'm awfully quiet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the heck I did with my camera. I was doing something, trying to look uh, halfway decent. Jermaine said I always look like crap, so it doesn't matter. And uh, I did not. Yeah. <laughs> I always uh, look. No. I know. Yeah. Hey man, you guys, you guys did such a great job. I don't have anything to even to add to that, man. You guys just did everything right. It was so good. I think uh, these people are gonna have so much to go back and do. It's amazing. But, um, <laughs> we got homework. Yeah, man. You know, we give this... Uh, I'm going to leave it off like this. I mean, this is just an, one example of what we do. We give nothing but value. I mean, the call we had earlier was just seeing things from a different perspective. Then you come on here and we have um, hangouts, you know, uh, teaching you even more stuff. I had something lined up with Paul, but I'm going to have to reschedule that. But it's a good thing we did do it tonight because we got so much other stuff going on. It's like, damn. But, uh, you know, it's just ridiculous. You have to use this as leverage when you're talking about the business is that uh, things that we do like this for tonight. We're not charging for this. Jimmy, how much you charge for people to watch this? 
<laughs> there oh, how, how much you charge for people to watch this? Nothing. Nothing. This is no, what you have to for joining the team. This is the ultimate value right here. We care about people's success, so we uh, share what we know. You guys totally rocked it out, man, with the whole Facebook training and everything. That was really some good stuff. I mean, you know, the only question I had with Jermaine with the um, voice thing, because I forget to do it myself, you can do it on a PC or it's only a phone? Only on your phone. Yeah. Only, only that's on what I figured. Okay. Good, good. So I was just confused. So you actually go on your phone and message people and then... All right, that's cool. Me and that's how I met Jeff, man. We were kicking it on the phone, and I was talking back to him. And next thing you know, boom, he's up there killing it, you know. So <laughs> I gotta start using that feature a little bit more. But you guys, this is awesome stuff, and we're gonna put this in the Facebook groups for people to watch at any time. This was really great. I don't know what I did with the camera; I messed it up. But any anyway, it's, it was really great. I don't know. I can't add to it right now. You guys just took the show, which was cool, man. But um. Carl, man, you, listen, here's, oh, here's what I want to say. That we are all, honestly, regular people. And what I focus on doing is making more leaders, not followers. You guys follow the leader until you become one. And then once you're a leader, because we're all leaders. Even if you, you could, you could have just joined five minutes ago. You're a leader. You're just not there yet. But you are. Because... This is what we do. We brand people to become leaders because Jermaine is not even a year in the industry. Carl, I don't even think you're a year in the industry. Am I correct? So, and no one that's no one I know that's been doing stuff in this amount of time is leading a crew like this, leading a, a new culture, a new wave, giving out training and value. It's it's insane. So you know, this is what we do here at Team Easy Money. We're not just giving you trainings, we're branding people to become leaders, to lead the pack and continue the movement. That's why we're the number one team. That's why we're all over the leaderboard. And that's why we're making the money we make. And that's all I gotta say. I mean it's just I'm I'm blown away. I, I come on here to learn something. That's that's I got no shame in that. Yeah, let me learn something. Maybe I'll pick up something from Jermaine. Seeing him put all my posts up. Hey that's great, you know? That's that's definitely good. But the only thing I want to add, and the thing is I can't show my screen because I messed it up. Um, when it comes to the Facebook post, what I started to do, I think you guys uh, noticed, I start uh, a, like a controversial post in the morning. But not talking trash, just trying to make a point across, right? And it's working because, I mean, if I go, let's see if I can show my screen at least, being that I messed up my camera part. I think you should be able to show your screen. Yeah, we can see your screen. Jermaine, right, cool. switch it to broadcast his real quick. Yeah, I, all right, it's on my screen. All right, good. So, um, look at that. Someone just earned fifteen hundred dollars. Wow. Okay, awesome, man. These guys are on fire right now. All right, so you guys can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it's not a mystery what I post. If you want to know, all you got to do is go on my wall and see. It's not like I hide them. Um, I start out the morning. Let's see. All right, here. This was this was on my mind since last night, but to, I do like Jermaine does. I wait sometimes. I don't just post right away because I have to space out my posts and give certain things a chance to, to resonate with people. Mm. So I... I start off the morning like this. This was on my mind since last night, but I said, let me start off the morning. It it it, bug, it bugs the crap out of me because I when I was in New York, I used to see these people stand outside the lines waiting for these freaking new Jordans to come out. For what? Like really? But then the same people sitting there, and you ask them to join a business, and they're broke, or it's this and that, or I can't. But they'll but they'll camp out to wait for freaking sneakers. Mm. I don't own any Jordans at all, but you know what I do own is a couple of nice cars, a big house, and I could do anything I want. Okay. <laughs> I don't care about sneakers. I'll wear slippers if I have to. I have gone to the bank in sandals. I don't care. That's not what makes the money, <laughs> you know. I mean, and look, guys. I did not ask for juice. I did not sponsor it. It's got 31 shares. It's got 83 comments. 
all right? People have, they, 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 this thing sits with them and they have something to say about it. Mm. And it's cool. And the only thing that I, have, I want to tell you guys is always keep the conversation on the post. It's that simple. Keep the conversation on the post. Like everybody's stuff. And, you know, you're going to make a lot of new friends like this. You're going to hit a lot of people in the head. And that's it. It's not about the business. It's about anything. It is about the business, but it's, it's like an indirect, you know. But it's just to open people's minds up. All right? So when you want to do posts like that, look, I, I like to um, donate to charity. It's always been my my thing to donate and give back. Like, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. I saw that commercial at UNICEF. I don't know why. I just pulled out my credit card and just donated. I just gave to one of those kids in Africa. I don't care. Whatever, you know. It, it, as long as I know in my heart I'm trying to do something good, it's fine with me, you know. So here's another donation I gave to GoFundMe. Guys, you know, be a people person. Look, I'm donating money. We're doing training. We post it on the wall. And, of course, every time something happens in my team, I'm posting it. When someone upgrades, when someone cycles, when someone joins, I'm posting it on my wall. None of these are really, they don't have my links. I'm not asking them to join, but my inbox blows up all day. These are the things that people like to see. And you, you do this in their face all day, all day. And like Jermaine said, you like to space out your posts at least 45 minutes to an hour. If you don't have, if you, uh, you know, if it's coming close to an hour, I actually sit there and I'm like, damn, I got to find something to post. I got to find something to post. I'm like, it's, it's been an hour. I haven't posted nothing. You just do it all day long. All right? Is either people are going to unfriend you or join you? It's the same philosophy when it comes to email list. Okay? It's either they're going to unsubscribe. You know what? That's fine. Look, one person unfriended me. They're either tired of seeing me succeed or they're just mad because they're not making any money. No problem. I have about 400 requests waiting. I'll just add the next person. I'll never run out of people to, to talk to. You know, never, ever run out of people to talk to. That's like a small mindset, you know. Oh, you know, everybody's on Facebook. So why there's a billion people? Who cares? <laughs> like, seriously, we haven't even scraped the surface of scraping the surface. Come on, get out of here with that. Listen, don't, they don't matter. Just post. Just just add friends, man, you know. So um, that's all I got to say about that. You guys are pretty much on point. I know I see you following the, the same strategies. Um, don't, like Jermaine said, don't. If something's working for you, don't worry about what someone else is doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know, I got people like um, Larry Christian. He's not a Facebook guy, but he's killing it however he's doing it. You know, I don't even know what he's doing, but he's doing it. You know, uh, Jamie Gill is like, I don't know what he does. He, I know he does something with video games, but the guy's amazing. He He's not on Facebook posting all day. If he does, he's usually pissing somebody off, but he's, he's flipping boards like crazy. You know, so whatever's working for him is working. So whatever's working for you guys, just get better at it and master it. And then that's when you could teach your team what you did. Hey guys, I, I figured out how to do XYZ. I got so good at it, I'm gonna hold a webinar and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. That's all it takes. And that's how you start duplicating. We keep this stuff simple. I don't think anybody in the team is doing any paid marketing. I don't know. I haven't. You know, unless you consider seven dollar posts, you know, paid marketing, whatever. But I'm not doing paid marketing. But yet we're like all over the leaderboard. Don't think that that's what you have to do. You have to come in and start buying all these clicks. I honestly, I look. I'm sorry for any solo ad people that are watching this, and I have never had any good results buying solo ads. Never. I don't know what it is. I it's just not my thing. I just I suck at buying traffic and getting something out of it. It just doesn't work for me. I'm gonna give you guys. Oh, let me give you guys one more tip before I let you go. So I know we've been over an hour, and it's getting late. Now, what I've been doing lately, because I'm focused so hard on people coming back to my Facebook, I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. Um, and you know, I don't lie. I don't have a big list. I don't. You want to consider this a big list? Fine, but this is not a big list. All right. I got. 38 subscribers. I got 16 unsubscribes today. That's fine. I don't care. I I'd, I'd rather people get off than stay on. Um, what I've been doing, I'm going to show you guys right now. All right. I've been making my broadcast follow-ups, so they're very personal to me. So I I haven't shared my campaign because this is like made up as it goes along. Um, I use Jamie's I use Jamie's um, story story that I made up as a follow-up message. 
Let me see. You guys can see it, right? Yeah. Okay, this makes an easy email to send out. I just I took the post. I just copied and pasted exactly what I wrote on the Facebook post, as you can see. And I put links back to join me or to go back to the Facebook post to see it. Okay, that's a, this is what I've been doing lately. And actually, I had a couple of emails back to say, hey, man, I got inspired by that story. I, I'm, I was going to join like in a few days, but I'm going to join right now. You know? So this is what I'm doing. I'm, still, I'm, I'm taking my Facebook post. I'm copying and pa pasting the exact post that I wrote because if people like it and they're intrigued by it, then why not, why not make it an email? And I'll make it an email. And then here, look, I put interesting story. And if they click here, it's going to take them back to the Facebook post. All right? It'll take them right back to the post. So that's what I've been doing lately. For anybody who's on my email list, you would know. And just that's it. Just keeping it simple. I'm not trying to sell to people. I'm just trying to inspire them. People buy things off of emotion, not because you, you sit there and, and you tell them something. We're not salesmen here. We're lifestyle changers. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing, and that's why I get the results I get. I hope that helped out a little bit. Um, let me see. You guys can. All right, cool. Jermaine, you see you, right? Uh, no. Well, yeah, yeah, now. All right, cool, cool. So, yeah, man, that's all I had to say. I hope I, I gave you guys a couple of nuggets. Uh, that was really good stuff, man. That was really good stuff. Especially sharing other people's success and stories to your list. And, you know, we have a ton of options as lists. Your Instagram followings, a list. YouTube subscribers are they're on your list. Facebook and emails are on your list. So cop, I'm going to take that. <laughs> Any Facebook post, that's a captivating story. That's going straight as a, as a broadcast. Yeah, I, I love to share other people's stories rather than my own. It makes sense. Because it's undeniable proof. Oh wait, it's not Alfredo. It's this guy, this lady, this girl, and now um, you reaching all all you you're talking about mothers, you're talking about people who like video games, you're talking about a single father, you're talking about a young entrepreneur. You, you know, I use um, Ty Smith as an email. I say, What you telling me a fourteen year old can do this or how, how is he, fourteen, fifteen? Whatever he is, he's a teen. All right. If, if he can do this, what is your excuse? There is no excuse. You know? So I use all those as stories. And I send people back to the Facebook post, and either they're going to like it, understand it, or they're not going to care, which is fine. Move it right along to the people who do want it. And that's it. That's powerful stuff. So, guys, I'm pretty much done. You guys, we gave up so much value. I don't even know. There's so much abundance. <laughs> Over delivery. Yeah. And it's not going to yeah. stop, man. It's not going to stop. You, you see the culture has changed. You see people are doing videos. I hate that. Never did videos. See people are they? This is my first video. Good. Get used to it. We're gonna do a lot more. You know. So we're definitely setting. Oh, and and people out there, uh, they're loving our style because I see people are 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 mimicking our ways of doing things, which is cool. You saw that too. <laughs> I see a lot, man. And you know what? It's fine with me. Just know who did it first. That's all. Trendsetting. <laughs> yeah, but that's cool. That's an honor to be a trendsetter. We don't want to follow other people's leads. We want to be the, the trendsetter. So you know we're doing something right. You know it. Oh. People, want to, people want to know what the hell we do. So that's a good thing. So let's continue what we're doing. Guys, I, I'm, I'm good, man. It's like 12 o'clock. I got to get to sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hit you all with a surprise this weekend, man. I got some things lined up. So uh, I'll keep that for uh, tomorrow. I'll let you guys know what's going on. All right, most definitely, most definitely. I appreciate you taking your time out. And everybody who just spent the whole, you know, the whole entire time with us, you know, I appreciate you. We appreciate your time. Um, and I feel like, you know, it's just progress every single chance that we get. You know, I, I've... I've I've never seen anything this powerful, and you know, with a community like this, you know, just lock arms and run. Let's run. This, let's, let's take this thing to the top. Keep on focusing on your your vision, your why. You know, a lot of key words that we use is leverage. You want to leverage your time. I do whatever I want. I'm surprised how fast this is moving. So, 
Um, I want you guys to take action, take control of your business, and, and make this 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 your transformation year. You know, for me, it happened early um, early this year, uh, end of last year, it just shifted. You know? So that's my piece. I didn't want to say too much. We did give a heck of a lot of information out, so I want people to absorb it. Um, so Jermaine, if you could go ahead and close the call down, bro, we'd definitely appreciate that. All right. Well, I just want to let everyone who's watching know that we do appreciate you guys. Listen, man, stick in there. Hang in there, guys. It, look, let me tell you. Remember how I told you it was a tough week for me before anything got rolling? Don't don't give up after three days, please. You know, don't be that guy. I had some people on the team that you know told me some stuff like that, and it actually broke my heart a little bit. Like, you know, you give everything to help the person who needs the help. Guys, listen. Um, I'm going to leave you with this quote, and it is true to this day. I can attest to it. Um, the fastest way to riches and the fastest way to where you need to be is to find someone with a greater problem than your own and help them solve it. All right? So, um, guys, you want to um, – I'm just going to over-deliver just a little bit more. You want to uh, stick out, over-deliver on every post that you get. Think about value. Don't just post – I mean, don't just post regular things. Think about what it would mean to the hearer, to the reader, to the seer. And when someone on your team has a result, congratulate them with all your might because what's that? what that's going to do is it's going to turn people's eyes. It doesn't matter. I've seen a bunch of people trying to talk trash um, about the company this week. What that's going to do is they cannot deny the love. They cannot deny the culture. They cannot deny the value. They cannot deny the result. And pretty soon, the very same people who are saying, I would never join, they're going to probably end up in your downline. Okay? Support your brother. Support your sister. Go as hard as you can. Give it everything. Then come back and make an excuse after you've given it your all. Because I guarantee you, before you even finish giving it your all, if you truly give it your all, you would already have the results you want. All right. So uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is nine to five rehab with elevated minds. I just really love the name. In fact, no, this is easy money with nine to five rehab and elevated minds. And uh, this training is called mindset. And uh, mastery is psychology and ninja tricks or something like that. But guys, we gave you everything we could. We were really, really, I, I need you to see, guys, this is the team that you're on, the team that loves you, the team that will go above and beyond to make sure that you have what you need to have to succeed. Because your success is literally our success, all right? Peace out, guys.